So can methods be taught too simply? Um, this is an interesting question. Um, I, I had a student once who actually, he, he studied a bunch of my videos and he came back and he's like, Alex, these videos, they're like way too simple. I, I can't see how you could learn everything in a topic. I mean, is it just that? And anyway, a, a couple of months pass and he's studying the exact topic that um, he watched those videos on in class. And he came back to me and he's like, you know what, Alex, I, I was the only person in my class who was able to answer any of the questions on this topic. And the, the, the lesson that I took away from this is that, you know, it can seem like focusing on the bare essentials, like what the symbols mean, what the topics mean, um, what some of the words mean, um, all the ideas behind the maths. It seems like something which, you know, a lot of time could be wasted on. But these are the bare bones to actually really understanding the subject. And what I've discovered, because I spend quite a bit of time on focusing on these basic concepts, and what I've discovered with my um, method students is that once they've learnt all of these and I give them extended response questions, they might not get it immediately, but they have a much better time understanding it than they would have if they hadn't have learnt these other basics so thoroughly. So, I suppose just by going through the fundamental concepts, you're not going to get a student to be able to answer every extend response question or to be able to answer every SAT question or something like this. But what you are doing is you're putting them in a better place when they do start to tackle these things. And what I've found is in the long run, you're actually saving a lot of time because when they're going through the questions, and they're figuring out the answer, the, the tools that they're using are not these complete unknown quantities. They're tools that they already know, and now they're just adapting them into application. So by practicing a whole bunch of extended response questions, they actually get to a place where they feel more confident, where they feel more competent, and can easily answer the questions a lot, um, a lot in a lot less time. And, in, and find it a lot easier to do so simply because they've understood everything else so thoroughly. So in my opinion, you can't teach methods too simply if you're teaching the core understanding of it. But you do, of course, have to also expose them to tough extended response questions and also expose them to doing um, practice tests under timed conditions so they can get those skill sets of applying what they've learned and get the skill set of being able to go through a test and get the maximum marks that they can possibly get. So anyway, um, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think. And um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear some of the other um, methodologies and ideas that you utilize. Because the more, um, there's so many um, teachers out there and tutors out there with amazing techniques. And it just, it, it sucks that um, not all students can get access to these different ideas. And it'd be really great if we could pull our resources and, um, and have sort of a central hub where students can get the best education possible no matter who they are. Anyway, um, that's it from me and thank you very much for watching.